This one is on a uh, lifeograph and basically it's a simple uh, diary program. I really like it so far, uh, basically because it has a, a password option or encryption uh, type of thing. But here's the first interface that you'll meet, and um, you know all you really do is um, you know create a new diary, and uh, the extension they use is dot diary. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Anyways, let me log in here. And in here is the you know a simple interface, kind of like Tomboy or Zim Notes or whatever. But uh, here you go. You have your title by dates and all that. Uh, calendar at the bottom, and this is where you type in your stuff. All right. And this one is a little bit different. Uh, they don't let you do multiple entries um, on the same day. Okay. So for that day, you only have one entry, and that's it. So that's how they do it. Uh, I kind of like that. You know, it's simple. But here, let me go uh, today. Click on today. And they'll create a new entry here, right? An empty one. And the first line is basically your title. So you go like screencast. Right. And the next line is normal stuff. So you go hi, you know, back to normal fonts and all that. Uh, you can change the fonts if you like. Not not a big deal. Say so edit themes here. Uh, fonts or colors, backgrounds. Uh, if I want to change it to maybe blue or something, or till I mean. There you go. But let's just change it back to normal. Uh, so that's for the theme. It's not really that much you can do. Uh, what else is there? Uh, if you go like, uh, you want to do like a sub uh, heading or something, you can do is space and then put in quotes. And you see it changes colors, but uh, heading, there you go. Uh, you can link stuff too, like, um, let me see, gtp.com, right? And that will probably open it with your default browser. Uh, another thing is, um, let's say you want to link it to a file on your local hard drive. You go file, and then you know maybe like slash home slash user, right? And that will open with your uh, not list or whatever you use. Same thing with mail uh, to here, and let's <laughs> put Bill Gates at uh, Linux come something like that uh, another thing is let's say you're typing something like uh, uh, you know blah 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 and then <coughs> uh, you want some words in bold or italics or you want to highlight something or even strike something out you can do that too and they have hotkeys for that uh, so bold is control B right so you go B and then Linux what is it mint there you go but basically they have the stars in the front and in the back that's pretty much how you would do it so you see how that the stars in the front and the back uh, same thing with the next uh, three here so you go highlight something let me say control H and this one has the pound sign so you put gnome it's highlighted uh, what is it italics let's say uh, KE let's say italics there and let's do strikeout so control S and let's type my alias. Uh, that's how that works. Uh, what else they have here? Uh, down here they have the tagging. You can use uh, Control T to go there if you like. But uh, you can tag it Linux, GNU, or some bullshit like that. And uh, <clears throat> as far as the top part here, you see they have the tools here. I tried this chapter thing. Didn't really do nothing. I guess they didn't do nothing uh, with it yet, but. I really don't know what it does right now because it didn't do nothing. Uh, changing your password or setting your password, this is where you do it. All right. Exporting. Uh, here we go. Or back it up. Not a big deal. And as far as for filtering, you know, you, basically this is where you search for um, whatever word that you 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 remember. So let's say back, and it'll find the entry of the day, or with even within it, right? Like any word that you want. Um, so gates. There you go. It finds it. Not a big deal. Another thing is that uh, how would you link it to uh, different entries? So you want to link this one uh, to this one or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like Tomboy, but Tomboy uses the title. Uh, this one uses by date. Okay, it doesn't use the title. So a little bit different, but uh, it's the same process. So it says uh, link this. Okay. 
and it goes by uh, year, month, and then day. Okay, so you go uh, 2010, and um, the month is April, so that's um, 04. And let's say we link to the one we just created, and that day is 05. Okay, that's the date. Now you click on this, or just follow that to uh, the one that we just created, right? Um, let's say if it does not exist, so not exist. How would you do that? Um, let's say we do like maybe two years from now, 2012, where we're all gonna die, supposedly. And you see it's in red, right? That means you don't have an entry for that in here. Uh, but if you want to create it, just click on it, and it'll, it'll make one. You see that? And you can type in the title, blah blah blah, not a big deal. Uh, to delete it, right click, dismiss, or you want a favorite, you can do that. But that's how that works right there. And that's uh, pretty much what you can do here. Uh, another thing that they say they might do is that they want to have attachments, and basically that's for like pictures or um, or like uh, PDFs or something like that. I like the idea that they're gonna do that because I I really would like pictures. I'm not gonna put a lot of pictures, just some pictures. But um, I don't like the idea that they are just gonna link it. That to me is just stupid. Okay. Uh, if you link it to just a file like externally, uh, I might delete the pictures. I might uh, put it a different path. So that to me is just stupid. You know. Another thing is maybe I have some risque pictures. You know, like you know some shit that I don't want people to see. Just in my diary, that's why I want to see it. Um, and that's why I want them to put it in a single place um, so I know that if I you know lock it it'll be in there and only I can view it uh, because if you put it externally anyone can fucking view it right that's just stupid so I want that's why I want the, the password and I want the diary that's exactly what the diary is supposed to be for to protect my content of whatever I have in there and I hope they do that not linking it externally that to me is just stupid that's not even why I would want a diary for okay I treat like, all the files like a password uh, so that's just my gripe with that if they actually do implement that put it in one place please and password protected okay alright so that's it and this other thing that this program does is it will actually log out if you don't do shit for uh, I don't know how many minutes so you see it's counting down the title bar and it will log out in a minute now there you go it logs it out by itself so that's another feature for security. Uh, so that's it for this program.